for your crap there, man. That was nasty. Wow. That was over aggressive grab. That was almost violent. Hey, you got over your pants. Little jumpy. Down there, I just come down there, man. Really? Not here. Oh, really? Hey, no hurry. Just keep your solid charge. This here's a mine. I think it's fucking charge. Come jump. I'm from the population. I ain't touching you, man. Maybe we set some more to fight. <laughs> well, that's rough. Well, what can you do? It's just me reacting. Man. Twenty-two. The question is, what did Rosmano score in the first three innings? I believe it was twenty-two. So only four runs the last four innings. Bryson Baker for Laser Vision leads it off with a uh, solo homer to left. One nothing, Laser Vision. Helmer, what do you do? Helmer grounded out. Wegman hits it pretty good. Strebel's got a bead to the fence and makes the catch about 320 feet away. So two outs. As we saw at the end of that last game, the offense really dropped off for both teams as Laser Vision scratched out a win in the first game of the championship on the Brian Rainwater bottom of the seventh walk-off homer. Scott Kirby playing first base this game stands in. Kirby line smash home run. Three quarters of the way up that light pole and left. Solo homer makes it two nothing. Kevin Kennington the batter. center field looking up and that ball's out of here about 370 there for Kennington Kennington's homer third homer of the first inning here three nothing laser vision Homer grounded out for the only or actually there's two outs now Sammy Lopez the batter it's that pretty good. Center field, Hughes going back, reaches up by the fence just as he runs into the fence and makes the catch. So nice catch by Hughes on the inning. Laser Vision gets three on three solo homers. We go to the bottom of the first for his mono coming up. Number 
Ozzy Sports going to give away some more apparel. Fifth game of the championship brought to you by Kazi USA.com. Kazi Sports, check them out on Facebook, check them out on the internet. Sell apparel, custom uniforms, soon to be batting gloves and equipment. Appreciate their sponsorship this weekend. Appreciate all the donations. I'm sure it will keep, a, keep the lights on here as we go towards Cincinnati. Probably won't do as many games next week by any means. Try to save our budget for the end of the year world tournaments. stronger wind coming in now the sun is out so these are the least optimal conditions for home runs or runs Jeff Hall leadoff base hit brings up Greg Cannell came up from the, the booth here where Kazi is based out of. I wanted to say Minnesota or Wisconsin. Somebody can, Kazi could post that. Home run by Greg Cannell. Two run shot, makes it 3-2. Andy Purcell, Bubba Mack, BJ Falk, your next three. it off. Set the defense for you here, laser vision. Again, Helmer at catcher. Gino Bucks getting the starting call. Left to right on the infield, Lopez, Bryson Baker, Kevin Kennington, Dal Beggs, and first base is Scott Kirby. Outfield left to right, Rainwater, Rick Baker, and Wegman, who's way off the line. And Purcell hammers another homer. So do you have the homer totals? Are you keeping them? Oh, yeah. Right. Purcell's up there in the home run race. Wegman's got a shot to overtake Adam Rockoff, who's our current leader with 17. And we think Purcell just hit his 15th. Right. Purcell at 13, Wegman at 15, okay. And a line smash by Falk. Base hit. St. Paul, Minnesota is what they're saying. Kazi. Let me know how many viewers out there. I'll be able to look at the stats next week when I get home. Just curious, Bubba Mack, liner to Lopez. Sammy Lopez has hauled in a number of shots over there at third base. That one he just had to reach up for. One out, Don Jr. the batter. Is he wearing bright orange batting gloves? 
got a bright orange batting glove on now. Runner on first, one out. Junior. Line smash, right center field, nobody home. Junior's going to have two, Falk to third, and the table's set for a free swing here out of Jimmy Sells. Deep shot, no doubter. Left center field down over the hill. Three runs in, six to three. Some chatter about this ball being a little too much, but I don't know. Heat of the day, it's definitely the right ball. Solo homer. Makes it 7 3. Bobby Hughes. Yeah. So you're, wait, were you just talking bats or you were talking they might be interested? Oh, like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll keep this to remind me to talk to. Oh, uniform. Bobby Hughes hammered it. The wind getting a little stiffer. It's caught by Wegman, who hardly had to move. He's way off the line over there. Wegman's going to move over to Strebel's up. He's a lefty. Question about how many homers Bubba Mack has. He's in the low teens, I think. Probably too far away to win the title. Hard shot, right side. Beggs, Beggs smothered it and made a nice play to Kirby covering the first base. For the final out, Rismondo takes the lead 7 3. We go to the second. Yeah. <laughs> 
Side Canal makes the play and throw for the first out. Teams just aren't getting more than like two hits in a row. This is Laser Vision's fourth game of the day. I mean, it's after, you know, a solid game, day of games on Saturday. Laser Vision coming out of the loser's bracket. Knuckleball smash by Kendrick. Base hit. Dow begs a batter. Smash at second base. Canelo makes the play, flips to Bubba Mack. Comes across for the double play. So a huge DP gets Rosmondo out of the top of the second. They lead seven to five. They got the hammer coming up. Where? 
Paul with another base hit. As Mondo starts with the top of the order. Batted through there in the first, scoring seven. As Mondo up 7-5. Second two run homer. That is a no doubter. Two run homer makes it 9 5 for Rosmondo. Andy Purcell. Question asking about Jeff Hall's stats this weekend. Yeah, we don't have any running stats. Purcell hammers one to left. That's a solo. That's a 10 5. BJ Folk the men. <laughs> DJ gets into the home run action, hits it deep into the tennis court. Hit south field. Into the home run act. 13 to 5. Smano playing their second game of the day. Laser Vision on their fourth. Smano looking a little more fresh here. Oh, 
There's Mondo getting into it. Feeling loose here in the F game. Bobby Hughes with a home run. Drew Worth out the talk to Buck. I think we're probably going to see Messina, although he's not getting ready yet. 15 to 5, Rismondo taking the wind out of Laser Vision here in the F game. And they're going to make a move. Curtis. Oh, Wolf. Wolfson. First time we've seen him all week. He's had a great year. Been very impressive with the stick, actually. Done a great job hitting. I think he actually has the highest on base percentage of anybody on laser vision. He has sat around for two days, though. It's a tough spot to bring him in, but there's nobody on. So I think Tendrick's coming out. coming out of catcher I think for Wolf and they'll leave Gino in the game probably as the DH and then Helmer might go to catcher I think knuckling home run. So now all of Rosmano's come out of the gate. Fired up 16 to 5, bottom of the second. Wolf Wilson on in relief. And Gino Buck. Top of the order, Jeff Hall. He's two for two with two base hits. Of course Cannell after him has hit two home runs this game. Jeff Hall gets into the home run mix. Deep left center field, way out of here. Solo homer makes it 17 to five. third of the game, so now Cannell might be in the running here for home run title. So he starts piling it on late. I guess the interesting thing about the ball, all the talk about the better ball this year is last year's leader had 17 home runs. This year's leader currently has 17 home runs. So it's the same. And Purcell Hammers one. This is one of the most, this is the inning, maybe the inning with the most home runs of this whole tournament. There's Mondo in an offensive groove. Curtis Wilson on the mound. Maybe he needs to pull out some of his unique fakes that he does. Oh, 
BJ Falk. I zoomed the wrong way, my bad. That's what I get for zooming. Wegman couldn't get to it. It got past him. Falk's in with a double. Brings up Bubba Mack. Hits it into the left field corner, base hit. homers in the game according to the chat room. Junior walks first and second for Jimmy Salas. Just got the home run totals. Bubba Mack or Canal. Canal is tied. Greg Canal is now tied for the home run title with Adam Rockoff with 17. So I think unless there's a flip-flop, I think Rockoff's in trouble. And now they knock the wolf out. What's your ERA when you let up like five runs with no out? I don't even think you can calculate it. Billy Messina's on to stop the bleeding. 19 to 5. Jimmy popped it up on the infield left side. Sam Lopez makes the catch. Yeah, yeah, late start. I don't think he played those first two games. Eisenhower up. Two outs finally. Runners on first and second. Billy Messina on in relief of Wolf Wilson, who is on in relief of Gino Buck, all in this inning. 19 to 5. For his mama, I think, gives them their eighth Smoky Mountain Championship. Base hit up against the fence for Eisenhower. Junior on his way to third. Eisenhower with the double. Bubba Max scores. 20 to 5. Oh, 
Hughes off the glove with Lopez at third. Junior and Eisenhower are going to score. Hughes in with a double. 23 to 5. Straight back to you. Come on, kid. Let's go. Is Mano going to force an early flip flop? Let me keep this up. Strebel at the plate. Pitch by Messina. Line smash. Right field. Wagner might have a chance. Leaps and misses. All up against the fence. Another double. So now Rismondo, who whacked those 14 homers early on, is now scoring with doubles. We haven't seen much of Top of the rack for Jeff Hall, who's three for three. Canal's going for the home run title right here. And there it goes. There's your home run champion, 18. He just knocked off Adam Rockoff at 17. Canal with three homers in the inning. Nice. through the whole base hit, keeps the rally going. About 19 runs in the inning. That's your first mistake of the week. 
to 5, 25 run lead for Rosmondo. If game in the Smoky Mountain Championship, 44th annual Smoky Mountain Classics about to come to an end. Laser Vision won three games today, forced the if game with a walk-off homer by Brian Rainwater. But have come out a little flat here and Rosmondo's been all business as they're heading towards the 20 homer mark for the game. Line smash center field, on comes Baker, makes the catch for the third up. 30 to five, we go to the top of the third. And I believe Laser Vision needs six runs, otherwise it's a flip flop. This thing could end real quick. Appreciate everyone tuning in. Feed this weekend brought to you by KaziUSA.com. Check them out. Custom apparel, uniforms. Check them out on their link. Link will be in the report this week. As well as their Facebook page. Huge inning by Rosmano, 23 runs in the bottom of the second. We're going to have our first blowout in about five games on this field. to play those first two innings. Questions about Tim Howard. He started early in the tournament and Eisenhower kind of took over in right field. I don't think Howard's hurt. Guys and Howard just got in a groove there with the home runs. Drives about seven and a half hours. I think it took me 7.15 to get here. Solo homer by Bryson Baker. Makes it 30 to six. Homer, Wegman, Kirby coming up. Homer deposits Purcell's pitch. Or does he? Wow. That ball stayed in here. That was a meatball. I don't know how he missed that one. Homer flies out to the fence. That's a big out. I think Laser Visions in a lot of ways are down to the last five outs of the game because they're going to get flip flopped.
Wegman line smash to third. Salas stabs it. Out number two. Now Laser Vision's one out from the flip flop. Canal. Three. I think he hit his fourth. Or he had three in one inning. Four. Yeah. So what's the top three then? It was uh, Rockoff at 17. Junior's throw across, got Kirby. And now. Yeah. Yeah, he just hit me. Two. <laughs> Bryson's at 15. 17. 17. Messina. Honestly, that could be the oldest person to ever know I'm running the smoke. It's 49. It could be, it could be close. I'm serious. But if you think about it, yeah, Billy Messina, it could be very well close. Didn't Masenko come down here one year after his heyday? He wasn't 50 yet. He probably wasn't. No. I don't care. Good man. There's no flip flop, my bad. DW doesn't know his flip flop rules. So there is no flip flop if the home team's winning, my bad. Yeah, we can just finish it. Ooh, line drive. Kennington thought he had a play, but he didn't jump. <laughs> Salas with the base hit, so now Rizmondo's magic number is six. Six runs, and the game's over. Rizmondo will have their, I believe, eighth Smoky Mountain Classic title. Few of those in a row now. Five. Five in a row. Who's the last one to win? Belcourt? Dan Smith. Line smash pass bags at second. Now Wegman can't find the ball. Salas to third. Runners on the corners for Bobby Hughes. Greg Cannell's eight for eight with seven homers in his last eight at bats, according to our chat room. Belcor, the last non Rismondo team to win the Smoky back in 2007. So I haven't seen another team win since 1994 myself in person. Well, I, I've never been to a Smoky that Rizmondo didn't win, except for back in 93 and 94. Bobby Hughes double, scores a run. Magic number's now five. Scott Strebel, the batter.
Yeah, thanks to everyone that's donated, Fozzy, for the support. Future donations, keep this thing going as far as the broadcast. Always do the reports, that side of the business is more secure. Screevel with some ridiculous line drives. He hits it off the top of the fence. And play at the plate. Off the mark. Laser Vision just not sharp here into the fourth game and started at 8 a.m. this morning. Now working on 2 o'clock, so Laser Vision's been playing for six, six to eight hours. Leave the camera up for the uh, awards ceremony if they have one. We'll get some team pictures. Ray, Ray. Nice, Ray, Ray. Thanks for the donation, though. Appreciate it. Grounder to third. Lopez over the bags on the first. The double play. They got Jeff Hall. Doubled up. Two outs. Osmano needs three to end the game. champion it looks like he's got 18 and a Markov played this morning his last game he had 17 would have won it if there was no if game and Canel popped it out so he can play at least one more half inning 33 to 6 Starting to disperse. Smoky Mountain inning. I don't know what it is, but I think all those records are in the program. You know what? Let me take a picture of the records. They sit by Kennington.
Sammy Lopez adds one more home to his total. But uh, so what's the record for most in the inning? Most runs in one inning, 2003. U.S. final out of Lafayette, Georgia, scored 52 runs in one inning. Maybe like a lower level team or something. Appreciate everyone tuning in. The kind words on the chat. Gino Buck. Laser Vision trying to extend the game. They're down by 25, 33 to 8. Gino Buck at the plate. Rick Baker on first. Rounder to short. Bubba Mack, Greg Cannell, Jeff Hall. There's your double play. Laser Vision down to their last out. Jason Kendrick. I say Kendrick, I meant Brian, Brian Rainwater, sir. I didn't check out too much, too much of the vending here. I know Boombo was one of the sponsors. They had a tent. Jeff Hall steps on first. There's your game. We'll leave the camera up for the awards. We'll probably be done right now. Your champion, Resmondo 2012 Smoky Mountain Classic Champions. Your number one team in the nation solidifies their spot. Laser Vision second. Team 454 was third, and DeMarini Dirty was fourth.
Alright, DW, the rest of the next broadcast. Saturday. Alright. I'll do individual <laughs>
speak and speak to you now. Sorry about that. Thing. Let me shut this down. 